Hi everyone, Matt again here. In this next set of videos we are going to be looking at drawing conventions and in this first video we are going to be looking at some of the standards that are used, the sort of lines and line work that we use and some of the title block information which we include on our drawings. So in the last set of videos we covered orthogonal projections However, these projections may have some limitations when they're used for engineering communication. So let's have a look at an example. We've got two perfectly legitimate orthogonal views and any extra views might not add any extra detail, but it's ambiguous to what it could be. There are several different shapes that this could actually be. So we also want to avoid repetitious detail. So imagine if we had to draw every single tooth of this gear here. It would be quite the task. You've got curved surfaces and they're on an angle. So hopefully there should be a way which we can simplify this where maybe we can just specify the shape of one tooth and the number of teeth in total. We might also want to consider something like this example here where we've got some cutouts in the center of our object and hidden lines have been used to try and show what exactly is happening but it's very difficult to determine which hidden line is which surface so there should be some way of clarifying this detail so all of these things I've just spoken about can be simplified or clarified using the Australian standard AS1100 and these standards can be found in our engineering drawing handbook which we mentioned towards the start of the semester so the book contains a whole set of shortcuts and little rules which everyone can follow so everyone can understand each other's drawings so it is important for us to look at the special type of line work that we have to use in engineering drawings and we actually have a reference for this in the engineering drawing handbook which is chapter 3.2 so there are three different types or widths of line that we use uh, we only really need two for now the first is what we call a type A line and it is a 0.5 millimeter wide line and it is something that we can just use a normal clutch pencil for the next is a 0.35 millimeter wide line um, this is not used too often so at the moment it's not worth you really investing in a pencil that can do this sort of line then we have a 0.25 25 millimeter wide pencil or line and for this you can use a 2H pencil or you can get special drafting pencils. So just a bit of an example of where we might use each type of line. We have a view here. Firstly any visible lines which you might see in the drawing is what we would call our type A lines and for these we use our 0.5 millimeter wide lines. Then for hidden lines, which we generally don't like to use, is where we will use our 0.35 millimeter wide lines. So any center lines that we might have, we will use our thin 0.25 millimeter wide lines. And for most other lines, so our hatching or showing a section, we just use our thin 0.25 millimeter wide lines. It's important that all our engineering drawings adhere to these conventions just so we can avoid any confusion that may arise of having lines of the wrong thickness and people presuming it to be something which it is not. So on each drawing that you produce there is some standard information that we need to include. Most of this information is conveyed through what is called a title block and this is something you'll be required to put on each drawing that you produce. You might have noticed in the drafting function in SOLIDWORKS it automatically generates a title block and it's up to you then to fill it out. So the first thing we need to indicate in our title block is the projection system being used. You might recall in the last set of videos I mentioned first and third angle projections. So if we have this conical shape here and we want to illustrate that with either a first or third angle drawing, the first angle would be this where we have this view placed down here and then the third angle is it on the other side and this is how all drawings are drawn to Australian standards so we add this to each of our drawings or 
if we don't want to draw it, we can just write it down in the notes that we are using a third angle projection. Next, we need to indicate what scale we're using. There are only certain scales which we can use and still comply with Australian standards. So we have them listed in this table here. So a 1 to 2 ratio would mean that we're drawing at half size and a 1 to 1 ratio would mean we're drawing at scale and a 2 to 1 would mean that we have doubled the size of the object. In our drawing, we do not want to draw two parallel lines closer than one millimeter apart. So if we have a situation where two lines are actually measured being closer than one millimeter, we need to increase the scale to separate them for our drawing. In our title block, we should also include a title of our drawing. We should also include a unique identifying number or drawing number. You should also include your name or the name of the person who has produced the drawing. And in the case for you guys, also try and include your student number in this box as well. Always important to include the date that you completed the drawing. And if applicable, you might also have the name of the person who perhaps checked your drawing. 